What's up, guys? It's Ant here, and today we are going to make a camo pattern that repeats. Okay, I'm thinking somewhere in the vein of a winter autumn color palette. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, pull up a layer here and we'll go over here to our pencil tool. Now we can get to our pencil tool by hitting in on the keyboard or simply going up here where normally the shaper tool is on top. So we'll hit this flap down arrow down here at the bottom. You can see that there and we'll click on pencil tool. Now before we move forward, there's a couple things we need to make sure of. So let's double click on our pencil tool here. In Fidelity, we wanna make sure that's all the way to smooth. And the fill new pencil strokes option is selected. Hit okay, we're ready to go. Let's find a color we can start with. I think this would be good and let's just draw in a shape. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Okay, let's just draw in another one. Let's change the color to like so. Okay, do like so. That looks good. And what color should this be? That gray will be fine. I think we'll move this one behind here. So we'll hit control and our left bracket, move that to the back, and color this one, I think, let me see, I think that's fine. Now, only thing we have to do now, guys, is move these shapes around. Move this one back as well. You can place them exactly how you like. I feel like something needs to be in this area here. So I'll hit in. Let's just draw in something. Color. I think that color is fine. Control and left bracket. Move that all the way to the back. Let's transform this by kind of flipping it over. Now we can agree that this will definitely be an interesting looking pattern here. Okay. But it actually gives us that winter autumn color vibes. So let's do one more. Okay, move this to the back. Control, left bracket. Hmm, that's not gonna be bad. So I'm gonna make a duplicate of this here and place this right in this area. Something like so. All right, that looks good. Now let's select everything. Control A. We've selected all of our objects here and then we'll go up to object. Go down to pattern and click on make. All right, not bad. So we have a few options here. One of the first things I do is I rename this. Let's call it Pantone Winter Autumn. Hughes or 
Campbell. Okay, now we can go through the tile type and see what we like here. I think I'm fine with grid. However, I would like to move this in just a little bit and kind of make it a tad bit tighter. So what I'll do is we'll head on up here to our pattern tile tool. Let's click on that. And if you can see this red box got a little bit redder for the lack of a better term. And let's just go ahead and pull this in a little bit. like so that actually looks good that actually looks good okay so this is going to be our work here so when you feel like all the steps you need to take here are complete just go up here click on done and then we are golden so what illustrator automatically does is when you create swatches and or patterns it automatically places over here in the swatches panel. So this is over here. Okay, so now what we can do to check our work is we can go over here, we can grab our artboard tool right here and let's draw in another artboard here. Okay, now let's put in any type of shape we'd like. I think we'll go with the star tool. Press shift so that way it could be proportionate and move like so. With this being selected to check our work, we'll go over here to our pattern we just created, which was the Pantone Winter Autumn Camo pattern. Click on that and look at that. Look at that, guys. And of course, you don't have to stop there. You can place this on your t shirts, you can place this anywhere you like. And the good thing about it is it's editable. Anytime you want to come back to it, change the size, change variations, change the colors. It's all editable because what we did is we vectorized it. We made it fluid. So that's it, guys. And that is one of the easiest ways to make a camo pattern in Illustrator. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.